I'm here with Hugh Carthy of the Spanish Pro Continental Team Caja Rural, ahead of the Vuelta España, and we're here to talk to you, where well, you can talk us through your Fuji Transonic road bike. Now, first off, I know that this is an aero frame, and you like using this throughout, despite the fact that your uh, your preferred kind of choice of terrain is, of course, the climbs. Yeah, I found that this this frame set itself doesn't weigh too much more than the climbing frame set. And for myself, as a taller rider. The geometry of this bike and uh, the way it handles, I feel, I feel you, you don't get that in some of the climbing, more specific climbing frames. I think this gives me, for a little bit of weight penalty, it gives me a lot more bike. Okay, so how much of a weight penalty are we, are we talking about? Um, well, we weighed this a couple of days ago and uh, stripped down the bottles and Garmin, etc. Uh, it weighed 7.3 kilograms, which is for an aerodynamic bike in 56. That's uh, 56 centimetres, that's, that's a pretty good weight, I think. And most importantly, if it feels the way you want it to feel, that, that can be, be worth a few grams if it yeah, handles you, the way you want it to feel. You, the geometry and uh, the way it handles it gives you a lot of confidence and uh, makes you more comfortable when you spend it. I mean, talk us, through, talk us through a little bit about the componentry. Clearly we've got Shimano Durace Di2 drivetrain on here, but we've got a couple of quite different features. So what about the brakes that you've got on this particular bike? Uh, one of our sponsors is TRP, they make they make obviously the brakes, uh, so we use those. They're, they're very good the, on this on this particular frame, the direct mount brakes. Okay. Other than that, away from Shimano, we use uh, KMC chains uh, and a nice gold. They won't go for very long, uh, okay. but no, the nice gold KMC chains are very light and uh, reliable. I can see now. I must admit, these uh, I've not familiar with these pedals. What actually actually are these pedals? Expedo. These this particular model use titanium, titanium axles and uh, oh, they're very very light and uh, very the springs are very stiff and keep feet locked in place. Okay now I understand Fuji make the proprietary handlebars and stem and seat post as well. Uh, I mean what sort of I mean that's a pretty long stem. What what do you normally ride? That's a 130, 130 stem, 130 millimeters and the bars are 42, 42 centimeters centre to centre. Yeah, the Reynolds wheels made for oval, so uh, okay. oh, they're, they're, uh, these are like a midsection, 40 millimetres they are. Uh, we only have this as an option, the 40 millimetre, we find that it gives us the best variety. We, for, for a variety of stages, a variety of different races, this is the best option. Okay, so real uh, all-round utility yeah, it's, kind it's of a, wheel. it's in an all-round wheel and the profile of the wheel, it's, it's not too wide, but it's not narrow like old-fashioned rims, it's, it's a, more somewhere in the middle, I guess. Okay, and what about tie choice? I mean, these are the classic uh, Vittoria CXs on here. Yeah, these are the new Vittorias with the, the graphene, the graphene compound within them. They're supposed to be more puncture resistant and uh, roll, roll a bit better, which I believe, I believe they do. They, they feel like good tires. And we, on the road bikes, we run 20, 25 millimeters, and on the town trial bikes, 23. Got uh, standard Elite bottle cages, Prologo saddle, also finishing kit though, so Prologo uh, bar tape. But there's one little detail that I noticed straight away. Uh, you're a Lancastrian, mm -hmm. home from home, of course, lived in Spain for a couple of years. You've got a lovely little detail there on your, your end cap. That must uh, I know, give you a bit of morale from time to time. Yeah, nice when, like I say, when you're suffering in a race and you see that look down and think of your family back home and keep on suffering a bit longer. Good stuff. Well, cycling is all about suffering. Well, uh, thank you very much, Hugh, for talking to us through your bike. Now, if you want some more pro bikes, how about clicking just up here for our pro bike playlist. And for the, late, and for the latest story, weekly GCN show, how about clicking just down here? And to subscribe to GCN, you can click on the globe, which is probably just in front of Hugh's head.